Hey everyone, um, I'm Christy and of course you all know Julie. Uh, we're here today because Julie has this amazing, well there's several things about Julie that's amazing um, as you know, but she can like kind of do weird things with time and one of the things is she can solve a problem in five minutes, any problem. So we thought we would jump on today. I've got a problem for you, Julie. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. And so you're going to help me solve this problem in five minutes. Okay. And this is all about role clarity um, when it comes to um, adults, particularly teachers and paraprofessionals. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. And I know so, you have some personal experience with this one. So do you want to? Yeah. Let me just tell people we're going to do. So it's called a five minute problem solving experience. I'm going to just outline it and then Christy will jump in. So I'll okay. outline it first. The first thing I'm going to have you do, Christy, is you're going to describe the problem to me in one minute. Okay. okay? Then you're going to have one minute. So we're going to write it into a question, a mutually agreed upon question. Okay. Uh, and I'll explain that later. Then we'll do two minutes of brainstorming. Okay. During your brainstorming, because you're going to be the problem solver here, I might show people or tell people about a course we're offering during the brainstorming. Um, so then, yeah, because they, okay. this this problem came up uh, repeatedly in when we've been teaching paraprofessionals about trying to get clear on what is their role. And some of our paras took the course with their colleagues and their teachers, and they're like, "How do we decide who does what?" And um, you know, you and I advocate all the time that we want all the adults to be co-teaching and the kids to be able to go to anyone. So there's all kinds of layers. But okay, okay. so I'll have a few minutes to brainstorm. And then what? Yeah, and then you're gonna we're gonna select a first step. So what would be the first step? And then we're gonna celebrate for five seconds, and that's it. So it's a very quick problem solving process. Okay, Are ready. you ready? I'm ready. Okay. In one minute, describe your challenge to me. Go. Okay. So I'm a first year teacher, okay. and uh, I just finished getting my degree in early childhood, and okay. I'm teaching preschoolers, and I have a fabulous. Uh, paraprofessional that is uh, part of our classroom community. And sometimes I struggle because am I her supervisor? Do I give her take the lead on a circle time? And so I think sometimes she's confused because sometimes I'm like, you know, go prepare a snack. And then other days I'm like, take half the kids and teach them. And then I'm never quite sure if it doesn't go well, what's my role? And I'm sure she's confused too. Okay, perfect. You did it in under one minute. So that okay. was perfect. And I understand the challenge. The next one minute, and I'm going to set my timer here. Um, we're going to write a mutually agreed upon question. And we're going to write it in a way that uh, is solvable. So you might start it out like in what ways white in what ways might we Okay, okay. In what ways might we get clear on our roles and responsibilities? In what ways might we work together in a more harmonious way so that we feel clear and successful? Yep. And I would just yeah. add, so we're, we're doing this together, right? So yes. in what ways might we get clear in both of our roles? Okay. Um, to create more success for us and the students. You like that? Okay. Okay. okay for us and our students. Okay, yeah. so in what ways might we get clear in both of our roles to create more success for us and our students? Yeah. Okay, okay. I got I like it. it. Okay, and now is the two minute brainstorming. So we did both of those in under a minute and I we had 19 seconds left on that, so that's okay. good. And I just wanna pause because I have 19 seconds to tell you, notice what we didn't do, Christy. We didn't admire the problem from every angle. We didn't spend hours discussing the problem and being frustrated. We just said, describe it. What's our question? Those were our two steps that we did. And it it's helped a game changer. knowing that for the first minute, I felt like I would waste too much of my time pointing fingers, like either blaming myself or blaming her. It made me really think about what was it that I was struggling with? Yeah, beautiful. So those were the two first steps. Okay. Now is your silent brainstorm. Now, usually folks who are listening, you do this with multiple people and you brainstorm, brainstorm, brainstorm for two minutes and you try to get 50 solutions. 50. Now that is bananas to get 50, but I say that to set the bar really high. So you come up with really outlandish or um, unexpected solutions. Okay. Okay. And so I'm going to brainstorm up, try to get 50 things about how 
me and my parrot can both get clear on our role so we have success. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to do while I'm brainstorming? Because we're doing so, a little bit different. Yeah. So can you set a timer? Can you be the timer? Yeah, I got my own timer. Okay. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to tell people about our para class for two minutes. Okay. So you're going to have to stop me if I get too long. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm going to be brainstorming. I'm looking down while okay. you're doing your screen. Okay. That's good. Okay. So I'm cool. just going to share my screen really quickly um, and show people what I'm talking about. So right now you will see my big messy screen. Okay. And what I want to show you is we're doing a course for paraprofessionals. Uh, and if you're an administrator or if you are a paraprofessional or a teacher and really need more support for this role clarity, just join us. And um, basically, here's what it looks like. You can see what's included here. We've got it's four one hour training classes with Christy and myself. And you get instant access to a private Facebook group where all these last time we had 700 people take it with us so all these paras from all over the world join us and talk to us about uh this talk to us and talk with each other about problem solving and things like that you get lifetime access to all the tips we share and if i were to say there were a thousand tips i would be underestimating the number um you'll get links to all the recorded training sessions so we're about to tell you it's live for four fridays in january and you might say, I can't attend on those four Fridays or I'm going to miss one of those Fridays. It's no problem. If you can attend or not, join us and then you get access to everything, even the live recordings of all the live classes and you get a certificate of completion. Um, it, it goes with the new paraprofessional book. This book uh, is sold through Brooks Publishing and it's probably the, the well, I know that it's one of the better selling books at Brooks for paraprofessional training uh, because most school districts use it district wide. And so we've got a brand new second edition that we're going to be using for this class. Um, and so we're going to help you bring that book to life so that we just have a place for you to enroll. There are tons of bonuses um, and you probably want to do it for your whole district. So Christy, is there, could you hear me while you were brainstorming? You probably couldn't. Yeah, I got you. And you um, have just a few seconds. Okay, good. So I'm going to shop stop sharing my screen okay yeah and how did your brainstorming go <laughs> um I, I got maybe 20. okay that may or may not have included a trip to the bahamas fine that's right so you have to be as um kind of outrageous in your thinking as possible um we have a question on Facebook. How much is the course? The only reason I'm looking to you, Christy, is I don't remember the price okay. point, but it's, it's, it's 129 per seat, or you can have everyone in your district and you can email me and I'll put my email in the chat uh, now about the district wide and district wide is fun because it's all paras and all teachers and families. Anybody can take the course and you don't have to count up your pairs, but it's 129. Um, and then there's group discounts applied when you check out. Yep. So if you're an administrator and you're wanting to buy this for your whole district, just email us. It'll be easier. We can figure it out for you and make sure you get the best deal. If you're a single person wanting to buy it, it's per seat. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay, okay, good. Good. And Christy, it doesn't include things. the book, but we'll be pulling heavily from the book. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, Kristen, for the question. Um, yeah, Feel free to ask you. more questions. I might be delayed in getting them to you, but we'd love to answer your questions so you know what we're talking about. Okay. So now we did the brainstorming. So Christy shared the brainstorming. And in just thinking of time, could you share a few of your favorite okay. ideas? Yeah. So I, um, as you were winding down, I kind of started a couple. Okay. So I have four. Oh, what are okay. they? So here they are. Um, we could uh, look at other teaching pairs in our building that are having success mm -hmm. and do a little walkabout and see what's working. We could, um, my can't read my own writing. Oh, I thought this one would be kind of fun. We could sit down and have a dream date where we could just talk about our personal goals so that we were really... Um, making decisions that were both respectful of where we wanted to go professionally because you mm -hmm. talked about our success and student success mm -hmm. um i thought when i heard you talk about the book from brooks publishing i thought maybe we could do a book club 
and she and I, my pair and I could read the book together. And then um, what I really wanted to do was have us sit down maybe with our admin and take a typical routine or a typical lesson and unpack who would be doing what in that lesson or that activity. Ooh, so it's just very clear before you even begin teaching. Yeah. Okay, so that's beautiful. You came up with page a page or two of notes in two minutes. And what I yeah. want everyone to know is we're solving right now a paraprofessional teacher issue. It's a common one. We, we're often asked to help solve this problem. The book is filled with solutions to this problem. And, yeah. and what I love is that you can take this five minute problem solving process and use it for anything. anything anything like maybe even should I get a divorce yes or no you can I mean probably do a 15 minute problem solving. no I'm just that's a joke but you can solve it with you know most problems or challenges that occur in your life so um, after I've brainstormed then what Julie okay so then you brainstorm and then the very last thing in fact I'm going to share my screen okay. so they can have a visual of this Great. of the five minute problem solving things in the chat uh-huh so here we go I'm trying it uh can you see it now Christy uh, yeah okay Yes, yeah. you're perfect. Okay, good. So like we said, one minute, describe your challenge. One minute, write a mutually agreed upon question. Two minutes, brainstorm silently. It's better to have multiple people brainstorming. Then 55 seconds, select a first step. Now, Christy shared four steps, and then you decide which of those things you're going to do. Maybe you're going to do a combination of them. You write it down, and then you celebrate the fact that you finished. This five minute problem solving process is a game changer, game changer. So we just want people to know that it exists and that it's awesome and you can use it for anything. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. And Christy, if you were making this decision, which one might you choose to start? Um, I think I like two of them. I think I really want to do the book club because I feel like I know the book and I know that there would be some things. I like a third object. So instead of yeah. me saying to the pair or the pair saying to me, we could look at it together. And I like the idea of getting our admin or maybe another teacher in the building to help us examine a, a common lesson or a common routine where we can brainstorm uh, what our different roles would be. Love yeah, it. So we get better so at co-teaching. I think both of those would be high leverage strategies, meaning if you created if you spend a minute looking at some routine and what we could each do so that we both had a clear role that could just grow and grow and grow and grow to all the routines in your in your experience exactly. right yeah so yeah. i love that um so then the last thing we do is celebrate and so i just it's important just to say that was fabulous christy great job great ideas um and thanks for bringing that problem together if we don't celebrate we often move on to our next problem in life right right and so we have to take a second to say like i'm wicked impressed with how much you came up with in two minutes um so great job thanks a lot yeah all right so i there we go any other great. questions on facebook before we jump off today julie Christian says, does every person select a first step or is it the whole group that's a mm. great question and thanks for the love Kristen. i saw that you said that you love our work i gave so. her some love back oh you did and dan um, but was so here too i don't know if he's still here but dan dan was with us today yeah in a minute read dan's comment but i want to answer for Kristen. so Kristen, how it works is you decide on one solution or two let's say like christie's it's a combination we're going to do these two things as a starting point Let's say in a month when you come back, you think to yourself, we still haven't solved this problem. Mm. You go back to that list as a starting point and add to it because you've already done the thinking. You've already really spent your time spinning your wheels about all sorts of creative solutions. So what I love about this process is it puts on writing all sorts of solutions that you can return to over and over and over again and maybe select a different solution. Or maybe it's solved and you've got a new problem to solve. But this is a high, highly, highly, highly effective practice for teams of all sorts to engage in. I was thinking too, from an administrator's perspective, and this one came up uh, the other night with a team of leaders, an administrator might notice that the co-teaching is a little bit wonky. Yeah. Like I know I've walked into classrooms where I'm not sure who's in charge. And I don't mean that in a way that's like somebody's got to be higher than somebody else but it's like i'm not sure who i would go to or the kids are not sure uh who's there to help them or the para feels a lot of pressure just to help the student that they have been assigned to 
And I might be as a ad, admin encouraging the para to support all students. And so there's like all this confusion. So I could see an admin taking the same brainstorming and going, okay, in what ways might I support this teaching team to yeah. both feel successful and students have success? So I could take the same premise, but say, in what ways might I as an admin so then I would still say, okay, I'm gonna have a book club for my teaching teams. Oh, I'm gonna go in and observe a routine or an activity and help them dissect it. Oh, I'm gonna encourage them to do a walkabout. So it's almost the same thing, but from a different lens. Yeah, I love it. And Kristen asked, is it an individual or group solution? It's a group solution that you decide together. Um, now that's not to be, I'm gonna be honest. I use this five minute problem solving session all the time on my own right yeah. and so especially just for example how do i get my dog to do this or that so i'll just spend time just thinking about what do i want to do here and then make a decision so you can use the five minute problem solving session on your own but we love it for a collaborative format especially around those tricky roles of co-teachers but also para uh general ed teacher combos I, we think that can be really challenging and confusing um and then dan dan said um Chris, do you want to read Dan's comment? Oh yeah, I put it over here. So I don't know, Dan, if you're still on, um, but it's a really, it's an important point. So this course, which, what we love about it is it is for Paris, designed for Paris, delivered to Paris. However, you know, Dan's reflection was that while sure, Paris can benefit from the content, teachers, administrators, decision makers, family members uh, would benefit from learning new ways to take advantage of their Paris, especially when we think about teaching uh, virtually. That's been a little bit of a wonky space. So I'll put Julie in the chat where folks can download our 140 ways for Paris to support students virtually. So I'll do that too. Okay, cool. So as you're doing that, Christy, just know that if you go there, we're going it, to, it's a little form and then ask for your email. So if you want this beautiful handout that we made of 140 ways paraprofessionals can support anyone virtually, um, go ahead, put your email in and get it, and then you'll just have it. So we're really, really excited about that. Yeah, we just finished nice. it yesterday. We've already given it away twice because we are loving it. Okay. Um, thanks for joining us for everybody who's joined us. If you're here, just jump on and say hi, just so we know that you're here. Um, do you want to do a giveaway of something? We did not plan this, but yes. What do you think about giving away one seat to the class? I think we should. Okay. Okay. I'm still trying to get the link. <laughs> okay. Put the link. It's okay. Put the link. Um, if you're here, say, hey, it's a real good time to put your name in the chat. Uh, so if you're just jumping on, you might be like, for what? We're giving away one paraprofessional seat for $129 is the price point for that. So we're giving away one free class right now. Now, if you're a para or a, let's say you're a para, great, take it, use it. If you're a parent and you wanna gift it to your para, that's like the most fabulous gift I could think of. If you are an administrator, you could gift it to one of your paras or you could use it as a um, reduction in your price if you wanted for if you were doing the whole district. So it's a big class uh, that we're going to be offering for paraprofessionals about how to do this work effectively, virtually or in person. Um, and I just haven't said this, Christy, but I yeah. want to say it. Paraprofessionals are required to do some of the hardest work in our school systems. They are working with students who have the biggest challenges and they are often given the least amount of training. And that is why we think this is so critical that we've got paraprofessionals who are prepared and ready to support all students in loving and kind and supportive ways. So we're gonna talk about behavioral supports. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about academic supports. We're gonna talk about how do you support so that students um, have a bunch of independence, right? So how do you make sure that students are really independent or interdependent with their peers? How do you fade your support so that it's really effective? So all those kinds of things are the topic of the course in January, okay? Okay. Oh, good, ready. Christy, you did it. I see you were successful. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, ready? good. A winner? Uh, a winner yeah, let's pick a winner. Dinner. I still don't really know what that is, but I live in Ohio, so I have to know how to say it. Okay, 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 let's do it. Um, Christy, how about you scroll, Christy? Okay, I'll scroll. Okay. Okay. Do the comments, and then we're going to pick. We have this very sophisticated way to pick winners. Yeah. Okay, I got to close okay. my eyes. I hope okay. I didn't scroll too far. Okay. 
Oh, I scrolled too far because now I got something that's not us. Oh. <laughs> we give it to some random stranger. They're like, uh. Okay, I did it again. I scrolled off my page. You want okay, me to here do? we go. Done. Okay. Oh, okay. So this, this is for serious. So I, Dan says, oh, hi, would love to gift a seat to one of our districts. <laughs> and that's where I landed, Dan. Okay. And guess what else I'm going to do? We're going to give away two because Kristen, I see you. I oh, see that. Right. Yeah. Let's do two. Is that okay? Yep. One two for Kristen and one for Dan. So Dan and Kristen, you just oh, won. Yeah. So you asked about the price point for you, Kristen, it's free. Um, yeah, I, so a mic, I would drop it. <laughs> okay, oh, I do have a mic. <laughs> don't drop it. Don't oh. drop it. Christine. <laughs> All right, okay. that was so fun. I'm so glad you thought of giving away seats. Yeah, who? Yeah. Um, okay. We so, hope you love the problem solving process, whether you join us or not. And if you know or love a paraprofessional, they need to know about this course. That's it. That's it. Okay, so Julie, do you know how to stop Facebook Live without us closing down Zoom? Maybe. We're going to try it. So y'all can leave. We're just going to practice closing this up. How do I do it, friend? I don't know. Oh, I just close it. I just only know how to close Zoom. Okay, then I'll just come back to your Zoom later. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody.